Hi folks, this is Sammy from NZ Ferrum and you're checking out Search and Destroy. Stay METAL! Shitloads of gear. Can I say bad words? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, we met tons of gigs and whoa, and we visited a lot of new countries like China, Australia, and now Central America. And we also played in South Africa. So it's been very good year and a half for us. So. We had these very big plans for the next DVD, but there there's some problems with financial things because we want to make something very special, not just like one gig and that's it and some bullshit backstage material for bonus stuff. We want, really want to make good package because we don't want to release DVDs like every two years. We want to make very good package, and we filmed also some material in. South Africa because I was the first time there and apparently we were the first uh, like metal band from Finland ever there so so we have a lot of material but we still are missing like the main geek and stuff like that but let's see it's a little bit delayed now the whole project and we already <laughs> are planning for the next album and that's obviously more important yeah we're probably gonna shoot it 2012 because end of this year we try to go to the studio to record the next album Yeah, we have, I think, two, three, four songs are almost ready, and I think we, we have all the, all the songs are under construction already, so we don't need any more ideas, but there's still a lot of work to do, and <clears throat> it's going to be interesting how we're going to find time to, to arrange everything, because now we're doing this... Uh, Central and North America tour and then we have less than two weeks at home and then we're gonna start a support tour with Children of Bodom in Europe that's gonna last for two months and then it's already summer summer festival season and then we should go to the studio already so <clears throat> yes that's that's the plan and we try to release the next album in the beginning of 2012 I, I have the idea for the whole album in my head but I've noticed I've learned from previous sessions and the more I work with Marcus, who's the main composer, that it's much better to like have the idea and then compose and you know they it kind of goes much more smoothly that way than than if he brings the music and I bring the lyrics. That was pretty much the scene at uh, uh, Victory Songs album, and er the arrangement aren't so good <laughs> at some points, you know, so. Now we're much more wiser and We had this huge orchestration for the first time in the last last album. I think we're gonna have a little bit those also in the next album because they sound so cool, but not so much. And I think we really try to go a little bit back to back to the roots and have like more rough sound because everyone is going to this very what's the word clinical 
you know, what's the word? I don't, uh, shit. <laughs> A sterile sound, you know. Okay. It's Earth too high, too hi-fi stuff. Oh, okay. We wanna give more edge to the sound. <laughs> Actually, if we would have had time more to practice, because there are a few songs in the first album that we haven't played. Well, at least there's one song we haven't played ever, Eternal Weight, we have ever played that live. And there's like Goblin's Dance, some songs that we haven't played in years. But if we would have had more time, it would have been very cool to play like the whole first album in this upcoming uh, 70 Tons of Metal cruise. Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been a very nice idea, but now we have two different sets there anyway. So. Spine Farm, our label used yeah. to have these spine feast things. Yeah, yeah. It was actually very good. Shitloads of drunken people and very nice geek. And I actually passed out <laughs> pretty soon after the geek, so I missed all the after party. Marcus is the founder of the band and I've talked with him a lot about this and he's always been interested about folk music and when Amorphis Fuck Off, the Tale from the Thousand Lakes came out and I think that was the point when he decided okay I want to have my band of my own. He used to play cover bands like we all when we were younger and Tale from the Thousand Lakes, I think that was the where it all started. And well, all Dark Tranquility and all this melodic death metal that, that, was, that had a lot of influence, but also folk music. Marcus is the only person I know who goes to public library and borrows like 20 CDs of different, different kind of folk music and he listens to that in a car and home. And he's done that for years and he still does it. And if we go to new countries, he tries to try to buy the local folk music also. So, I think we play with some festivals with Dutch Tranquility, and it, it was awesome. You know, play our own show and then go to the front row. <laughs> That's, that's very fascinating because those are the two places that this thing is really growing. I honestly don't know. I really hope I would have like very, you know, <laughs> very good answer for this, but I don't know. Like at our gig, you know, we have very huge mosh pits and wall of tits and very, I don't want to say aggressive stuff, but you know, very metal. But on the other hand, you know, there's shitloads of sing-along and people are dancing and crowd surfing and drinking beer and in very good spirit. That's something I really enjoy in our fans. People are in so good mood in our shows. Very friendly and crazy. Like today, there were people in the airport. Were like, wow. But then the promoter said, "Yeah, we have to go. We have to go." I'm like, no, we have to keep singing. No, 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 we have to go. That felt really bad. You know, people came to the airport and 
for us. And come on, get like 15 minutes to give signature for everyone. That wouldn't wouldn't have messed the whole schedule. But yeah, well, we managed to give most of them at least something, picture or something. Thank you for finally getting us here. It's an honor. Gracias. <laughs> Search and destroy.